Welcome to a new episode in the 23 collection of Michael Jordan stories in 23 days. This is a new collection over December, so if you've missed any of the other episodes within this December series, there's a playlist in the description box down below and on the top right of your screen right now. Today, we are reliving the times that Michael Jordan was a savage and asked his defenders to take his Jordan shoes off. These are the two stories, they're hilarious, funny, and crazy, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The one thing that I'd love for you to do, these videos take a long time to make, and we are doing 23 over the course of December. The one thing I'd love is that if you could please hit that like button, it really does support the channel. Let's aim for 5,000 likes for the next episode tomorrow. Subscribe if you are new, and hit that notification button so you're up to date when a new video releases. All the video footage used in this video is located down below in the description box as well and on the screen right now so you can take a full look at all the interviews, podcasts and clips used in this video in their full entirety and I hope you guys enjoy. But what happened that first time you took the floor and you have to guard Jordan? Here's a funny story about the shoes. I've had some battles with Mike. Um, but unfortunately for me, I, and I, and I, and I kind of look at like when I came into the league, cause I had a holdout, I didn't play against him my rookie year. Well, unfortunately my rookie year, I wasn't there because I, I held out. So I missed him before he retired. Remember that? Oh, okay. That's right. The next year, um, he retired my third year, um, at the end of the 94, 95 seasons when he came back. Okay, yeah. but I got hurt that year. So when I finally got a chance to, to for Michael to come back, that was that '95 season. My fifth year, I finally got a chance to play against him. Uh, I'm playing for the Nets. This is '96, '97 year. I mean, when I was in Jersey, we were playing the uh, the Bulls here. I was with the New Jersey Nets at the time. Gill slashing to the rim. He gets the roll. My great friend, Jimmy Jackson, who's a great player, Big Ten player of the year, two-time All-American, was giving Michael Jordan the business. Nets try to catch the Bulls napping. Jackson knocks down another. Jimmy Jackson is just giving it to Michael and Scotty. He's just, you know, just killing them, right? In the meantime, Jimmy continues to talk mess to Superman. <laughs> now, you can't do that. This is Jordan. He's been quiet until now. Jordan, pump fake, fade away for the time. No. In a season full of lowlights, the Nets have achieved their high point. For one night at least. We beat him in Jersey. Me and Sam Cassell talking crazy. He, Sam had 28, I had like 25. And Sam Cassell and I had a really good game. Jim Jackson, I'd cross the knees and sit back. Cassell steps in and strokes it. He hits another. So Mike and I are going back and forth, just talking. You can't guard me. I can't guard you, blah, blah, blah. We're going back. So we go to Chicago to play. Some people told the story, but they didn't tell it right. So we go back to Chicago and play him. They had the team from the start. MJ fadeaway jumper goes in. Well, that's a better start than he had. So we're playing. And they, they want to get back because we beat him. Harp in the corner. Very high arcing three. MJ with a tip. Put it in. Very fine player. Okay, fair enough. That's a good point. MJ spins in the lane, and hangs and hits. To try and pull away here. Bill Winnington in the ball game. MJ hits from the left side. Good coach. Bob's baseline. MJ high. Arthur rattles home to Michael. Back to Michael. Four, three, and in the Tough shot. How about that? What the people pay the money to see is that kind of basketball. In the so Jimmy Jackson starts talking crap and everything. Mike, you know, he got into his early on. He may say something. It depends on how, how the game is going. But then he'll nudge you along, especially he may say some things to the ref about you. But he's talking about you, about you can't guard or something like that. So. He's talking, I'm talking, you guard me, I can't, you can't guard me, well, you can't guard me, whatever. I know that's Mike, bro. I mean, come on. Mike might have had 28, maybe. You know, we're cocky. We're talking, me and Mike going back and forth and throughout the game, and we end up losing. We lose the game. I had 33. 
<laughs> I have 33, though. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. He's back. Fakes on Massenburg. And takes the three. It won't quite go. So we're going through the, 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 the line to shake hands afterwards. But the funny thing about it, after the game, there was a guy named Joe Klein who was on our team who had played with Mike before in Chicago. What was the, the spark that, or the, the, the things that he had in him, do you, do you think that helped propel him to? Oh, he's competitive. Uh, just, it, it, oh, it just, I mean, he wanted to win. If, if he lost, I mean, just his competitive nature was off the chart. I mean, we were all super competitive. Right. He, he was. He never took you per diem on some card games, did he? I stayed far away from <laughs> that. Joe Klein, that played for the Bulls before, pulls Mike to the side and says, Mike, let me my man J.J. alone, my young fella. Mike said, no, J.J. is my guy. We're real cool, but tell him that's why he's wearing my shoes. You're talking a lot of crap to have my shoes on. Oh. <laughs> 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 He's talking about the ultimate shutdown, man. Jimmy, Jimmy looked down. He did have his shoes on. He had the jump man's on. <laughs> it is weird well, to said, play against a guy. You're wearing his hey, shoes, Jim. Talking hella, hella trash, right? Yeah. But jump man's on. I said, I'm going to continue to wear them, too. So what? So, But that's that's my Jordan story on the shoes because that, that right there was the comeback of all. This is why wearing my shoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the ultimate. And I said, yep, you're right. Now I'm not taking them off either. That's where you just, you're standing there you and you see him look at him and then he looks down and she's like, oh, yeah. we're, we're done here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't say anything after that, you know. I love that so much. Mike, what I found, Dan, is this. Mike, along like with Kobe and other guys like that, they respect guys who go back at them and don't back down. Now, you may not get them or be as good as them, don't get me wrong. But as long as you show that you are a competitor and you compete, those kind of guys, those guys respect you. You know, but that, that I was, I'm so glad I got a chance to play in that era, though. Yeah. That right there was the comeback of all. This is why I wear my shoes. <laughs> is there a better trash talk moment that you remember than Jordan saying, remember, you're wearing my shoes? Oh, no, no. I mean, that was, that was classic. I wasn't a trash talker. So a lot of people didn't talk a lot of trash right, to me as well. Forth. But when I was a rookie, my fir very first game playing against Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Mm. Oh, first game. So you got to think, right? Six months prior to that, I'm in the dorm room at, at CU with Jordan posters and all kind of, you know, all my favorite players are in my room. Fast forward, I'm playing against this dude my first game, you wow. know? Um, that was crazy. You know, I was in awe. That was very surreal. Bowen is knocked down, but no foul. Tucked away in a steal by Jordan. And Michael on that inbound pass against Travis Knight. Michael Jordan, the scrambling Boston Celtic team all over the floor. Jordan goes in, and they're going to call the blocking foul. He gets the call. He gets the call and gets the basket. It, it was crazy. It was, it, it was really, it was really wild, man. Um, you know, I'm 21 years old, you know. Um, so it was, it, was, it was wild, man. And we had a guy named Greg Miner guarding him. By this time, Mike's come back into the league. Tell me about your first experience playing against Michael Jordan uh, in a Boston Celtic uniform. The best to ever played the game, in my opinion. Um, so it was, it, was, it was a great experience, but I, could, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't afraid. And, you know, it was a little dust up. Greg's playing hard. He's playing, you know, of course, you got to play as hard as you can as MJ. Right. <laughs> it's open at night. My mom at home watching, the kids watching, everybody watching. <laughs> so they got in a little scuffle. It was like, okay, I got Mike tonight. Y'all leave, leave it alone. Let me focus on what I need to do, that kind of deal. So I'm back there just taking everything in. Like, okay, let's see who's going to do what. And uh, MJ's going to the free throw line. And he looks at Greg and he says, I should make you take my shoes off. <laughs> I looked down, I didn't even realize it. I looked down and he got the Jordans on. So I said, oh man, oh, this is my first dude. game ever. I said, this is this is what I got to look forward to. You learned a valuable lesson though, right? Well, obviously I didn't say much to MJ the rest of the night. They're trapping, sometimes coming with the guy off the out of bounds pass or them running out of guy. 
Michael Jordan with a basket. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of trash talking too, I bet, boy. Probably so, probably so. <laughs> More than Michael Jordan does in this game. Jordan with a fall away, hits and a foul as well. Fouled by D. Brown and Jordan now. That's <laughs> right. I didn't want to be on that reel, so that was my welcome to the league Trash moment, talking. even though it wasn't too me. Thank goodness. You. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I found these stories absolutely hilarious when I was editing them, so I hope you guys enjoyed them as well. If you did, please help me out by hitting that like button. And here are two new episodes that I think that you will also enjoy if you haven't seen them already. And I will catch you guys in the next episode tomorrow. Take care.